antelope hunting in Wyoming in 2014. It's got a big one spotted. Hunt three quarters of a mile up this drainage. And Jeremy is going to try his luck. You going to shoot straight? I'll shoot straight. I just don't know if I'll hit the animal. But the, the boss shall be straight. Take your time. Make sure it's good, Jay. <laughs> Sounded like a hit, but reload, reload. I can't tell for sure. Get back on him, guys. Is he hit, Rick? Can you tell? Could you tell where he hit? Hold the uh, hold hold ten inches high, Jeremy. Alright, hold. Yeah, hold like a Hold like a foot over his back, wherever you need to compensate and let him have it. Nice. Nice shot, buddy. He went down. like a hit but reload reload back wherever you need to compensate and let him have it nice nice shot buddy he went down this, it doesn't get better in this ladies and gentlemen two really good buddies two really good buddies and we had such a great time in it <laughs> let's get all our stuff rounded up and Three hundred and fifty yards, boys. That's a poke. I think he's better than you think. I think he's. What do you think, Rick? Do you look good? Heck yeah. One done. That's a good goat. How high did you hold on that last shot? First shot was six. First shot was six. And you must have hit him just right under the chest cavity, huh? Huh. Good. Let's go check him out, man. Yeah, that, just, that just comes with uh, knowing your ballistics a little bit. I mean, that was close. Well, yeah. No, it, it really does. <laughs> knowing, knowing where to hold. Inch and a half high at 100. That's what you told me. Yeah. And yeah, you got to study that stuff so you kind of know. But yeah. yeah, let's go take a look at my goat. We don't have all that best of the West stuff. We're just rookies. Hey, you know what this is? <laughs> this is a Ruger American that I bought for my son to hunt bears in Wisconsin with. We sighted it in. We didn't see any bears, so I told him I'm going to come out here to Wyoming. I'm going to break it in with my best friend. We're going to, we're just going to see how it goes. So hey, here we are. Yeah. And it went. It went. Nice shot, man. That second shot just dumped him in a pile. Yeah, he didn't lose a thought. Let's go check him out. I can see. I don't think there's any ground shrinkage on this guy. Pretty one. That's wow. a really pretty antelope. That's gorgeous. Set your gun up there by him. Let's pick him up. Man, he's got some huge cutters. Turn the barrel the other way, buddy. Smells like antelope. Musky?
I think he'll do, huh, buddy? That is a great... Look at the mass on that goat. It's thick. That is a great Wyoming buck. I can't, I couldn't be any more happy with this guy. Turn him sideways so we can check out that. Inches high. Cutters are 12 inches. There you go, hold him sideways right there. That's a stud, buddy. There's a photo button on there, Trent. You see on the screen? Push that photo button, I'll take pictures for you. I'm gonna zoom in on him, hold him up. Look at the mass on that buck. Those are those cutters are big too. That buck's gonna be close to 80. He might be bigger than 80. That's a booner. I think so. Did you hit him high? Oh, is that your second shot? Second shot. <laughs> oh my. Well, let me get you did close your eyes. No wonder he dropped. <coughs> Trent, he's a beastie. That is a beautiful, beautiful buck. Oh, I mean, he's got almost, he's got like seven and a half inch cutters. Watch the cactus right here. Yeah, yeah, I found him once already. He was flying up the bag. What a great freaking goat. That is a big, big it animal. Took a, took a few years to get our tag out here. Uh, we drove, we're from Wisconsin. You know, Rick and I met up in La Crosse and drove like bandits to get out here. And, uh, Get a buck with his cutters above his ears, and when they're, they say if you got seven inch master measurements and seven inch cutters, that you're looking at a, a booner goat. And this buck's got him. I mean, he's he's got the mass, he's got the cutters. He's not super long. I mean, he's I'm gonna say 14 and three quarters. He might stretch 15, but I bet you that buck's gonna go 81 inches. <laughs> I bet you. He is a pig. I couldn't be more happy. <laughs> I mean, that first, that first shot we got him, we knew he had blood on the back legs. We held a little bit higher. On the front. Oh, yeah, the front. Well, I meant the back down. Yeah, the front leg. But and then the second shot, I, I dumped him. So we're going to clean him up, go out and get Rick's now. We're looking for one that's double this big. So. Yes, sir. Radio. Can you get a couple photos of Trent right in there? Yep, you're trying to hit the photo button, right? Yeah, you guys. All right. Say Badgers. Oscars. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Jeez. Are <laughs> badgers? Is he mad at us? God. Badgers? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get you one. This went better than I thought, though. It doesn't mean I have any blood on there. We got it, man. We got it again. We got another memory out here, don't we? Yeah, oh, we watch the cactus, Rick. You're right in them. I'm on them. I'm on them. <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah, Holy cow. <laughs> He's all. Yeah, I, 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 I think you never realize it until you get here, and I, I mean, I'm a little guy. Little yeah. Hands. That buck has got the mass, he's got the cutters. He's so fluffy! And he's, and, uh, he's got enough length that he'll make Booner. I mean, he's, that buck's over 80 inches. I so. can't believe that. That's nuts. I don't, I don't, I don't judge antelope like, I mean, you know. I mean, you have a really good idea. I just knew he had good cutters and that he was, you know, I knew he had pretty good mass, line. but yeah. I just... You know, but a respectful species of it. Next time I say, Jeremy, you can shoot first. I want you to slap me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now whatever we find is all yours, Rick. Right. Yeah. Now well, it's all the pickings. I know who's driving all the way home anyway. I shot the little one. I got the little one out of the way. We got the meat one in the back <laughs> of the truck. Now we're going for... You know, I think, I think there's a 12-incher right down here, Rick. You know, I mean, you got low standards. Holy cow. They're just so deceptive. Antelope are the hardest animals to judge, and that's a dang good one. Yep. So I'm I'm happy for you, Jeremy. Congratulations, bud. No excuses, Jake. You better not ever miss with that gun. <laughs> you know, it's it's stressful enough driving out here as far as we did, only a few hours of sleep and getting out of here, but when your guide tells you that we gotta have our goats cleaned up by five or by noon so we can be back to watch the Husker game, that's a different kind of stress. Um, I couldn't miss. You know, I willed it in there 
I kind of closed my eyes when I pulled the trigger, but I said, dear God, bullet, hit that buck so we need to watch the Huskers. And, and it worked. So, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>